I've decided to create a footwear store. For me, keyword research will give me an idea of the keywords that people are searching for. If I can embed any of these keywords into my domain name, this should give my domain a small boost for that particular keyword in search rankings. As I do not have a brand, I'm going to use keyword research for my store. I'm going to use Word Tracker for my keyword research. Word Tracker offers a free two-hour trial account to decide whether Word Tracker is right for you. Now, Word Tracker was one of the first companies to offer research data for all search engines on keyword search volumes. Here you can find information on how often someone searches on a keyword daily. To start the account, all you need is a valid email address. So let's get started by clicking on Take the Free Trial. Enter your name and email address. Click on Start the Free Trial. When you do, an email is sent to that email address, and you can log into your email account to confirm that you are the owner of that particular email address. And there is, and if I click on this link, my free hour, my two-hour free trial will start. Now let's get started. Let me close some of these other screens. So we can focus on Word Tracker. Now you'll see a screen like this where you can. You, step one of four is to find hundreds of related keywords. You enter in a seed keyword like golfing equipment, real estate, search engine positioning, one word, and Word Tracker will find all the related words based on the initial keyword. So to get started, I'm going to enter footwear and proceed. And there are the it's grouped all the words under these ten words. And if I click on footwear, you can see that it's grouped various keywords based on count or predicted count. Uh, famous footwear, and the predicted count for that is 1665. Count and predicted count. Count is the number of times a word has been searched on in various engines, and predicted is how often word tracker thinks that word will be searched in the coming days. It gives you an idea of the relative frequency of what people are searching for Nike footwear, Fallen footwear, Born footwear, Merrill footwear, Pastry footwear, and um, footwear searched about a third less than Famous footwear for example. Let's look at um, let's look at let's let's look at another another keyword um, So that you get an idea of what um, what words are there here under shoes. You can see there are various keywords relating to shoes, and shoes is searched um, 18,000 times daily. That's that's really high. Payless shoes, Nike shoes, Payless shoes probably for the brand name Payless shoes, Keen shoes, Elite shoes, or Eli shoes, DC shoes. And you can see the search distribution for various keywords. Now, keyword research will make more sense when we get into creating search optimized content and it's a good idea to to create content, relevant content to rank for those particular keywords and uh, you don't need to have a domain name for each of these keywords to rank. There's, it's Once you have an established store, you can create text that uh, can rank for all these keywords which we'll cover in a future volume. For now let's let's look at some of these other keywords so you get an idea for the search volumes. Enter in a couple of keywords that you like. I picked a couple of keywords for me to consider for my domain names and and um, w if you complete all the you go through the various steps you can get the keywords emailed to you in terms of the search volumes, the predicted volumes and all this sort of data. Uh, you can get it by email, which I'm not going to do at this point. So I've got a couple of keywords in mind, and that's what I'm going to use for my keyword to find a domain. This concludes this video.